I didn't lose my life, I lost an arm. It's not the end of the world. It's that attitude, that outlook on life, that stands out about Jordan Rivera. Despite being laid up in a hospital bed with wires all over, he's counting his blessings. His mother is too. That's the best thing is that I have him. Like, yes, arm gone, very traumatic, but he's here. An alligator attacked Jordan early Sunday morning, biting off his right arm and nearly taking his life. They got my elbow. So like, I don't have an elbow, but I can still move my arm around and whatnot. Jordan doesn't remember much of what happened. What he does recall is that the bar he was at, Bandito's in Port Charlotte, was busy and the bathroom line was long. So he walked to the pond out back. I just saw a little lake. I'm just trying to go over there and just, you know, take a little pee or whatnot. Something happened where I either tripped or like something, the ground below me kind of just went down and I ended up in the water. And that's literally the last thing I remember. The next time he opened his eyes, he was here in the hospital. It's then he found out that the gator ate his arm. Fusion, I was like, whoa, like I was just, because I woke up and I was just sitting here and I looked over and then I saw my arm the way it was and I was like, ooh. It kind of just feels like my arm just there, but not there. If you think this story is wild, you're not the only one. Try telling it to the guy who's living through it, but remembers nothing. It was just the craziest thing. It was like almost like out of a movie. A movie that could have had a terribly tragic ending, but instead turned into a story of heroes. People at the bar rushed to help Jordan, pulling him from the water and putting a tourniquet on his arm. I call them angels that were there that saved his life. The chances of someone being there with a tourniquet to me is it's a miracle that he's here. The story has captivated people all across southwest Florida, but has also stirred up the rumor mill. Some people online claiming he was feeding the gator. That is completely not true. They don't even serve food at that bar, so how would I? I, I couldn't have served the gator food. Instead of spreading lies, Jordan would rather spread awareness that Florida's prehistoric predators aren't playing games. I just show them my arm. Hey, bud. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.